This video gives you in-depth instructions and information on how to raise a request for a CrossConnect and structured cabling. Refer to the video introduction to CrossConnects and structured cabling for an overview of what these types of cabling are. All tickets are accessed here through the side menu. Next you see provide a selection of cross connects including single mode optical fibre, copper connections and data centre interconnects. These services allow rack to rack or rack to carry connections through our high density cable infrastructure. Our single mode optical fibre connections are delivered in either a single or dual core service. Please specify or advise your next available ports between the A end and B end within our next DC data halls. Copper connections are also available through category 3 and 6 infrastructure where the distance between your A end and B end is less than 100 meters. Next DC will review and advise if your connection is physically sustainable once your ticket has been received. Data center interconnects, known as DCIs, are physical connections between data centers in the same city. For example, you can connect B1 to B2 or M1 to M2. All cross connects have a once-off establishment fee and an ongoing monthly charge, which will be billed as specified under your next DC agreement. To order cross connects, select the facility where the cross connect will be installed. Please note. All connections on the same form must be for the same data center. Next, select your install date. Remember that this must be at least four working days from the date you are submitting the order to allow us time to review the request and to do the installation. Include your customer reference if required. This can be your discount code if you have one or an internal reference for this order. Scroll down and select your cross connect type Make sure to accurately specify your A and B ends, as getting this right means we can provision your request quickly. Inaccurate information can delay your order. If you don't know your port number, you can simply write next available and we will select a port for you. If your B end belongs to someone else, you will also need to email a letter of authority to nextops at nextdc.com with the TAU ticket number in the subject field. Click create cross connect. This adds a cross-connect entry into the form and from here you can add another cross-connect or continue to structured cabling. To request structured cabling, complete the facility and installation date information as before and select your cable type. We have two types of structured cabling available, either 12 single mode fiber outlets or category 6 cables. Both types include the installation of a patch panel. Once you've chosen your structured cabling, specify the rack ID, the RU slot you'd like to install the cabling into, and whether you want the cabling installed into the front or rear of the rack. You can also leave us any other notes, such as instructions to install the rack in the next available slot. If you need to remove a cross connect or structured cabling at any time, please email nextops at nextdc.com with the original TAU number, service identification number, and a and B and details.